What's up good people? Welcome back to my channel. Um, this is going to be an update video on key fob not detected from my previous, um, I think it, this was like three videos back when I made um, key fob not detected because, so the key fob that I had, which is this right here, this is the old one. Um, I wasn't able to start the vehicle. Like I was able to start the vehicle, but I had to push the key fob onto uh, this right here. And it wasn't because of the battery because I swapped out the battery like numerous times, put in like Duracell energizer batteries, um, something, you know, a much more reliable battery. So um, just to see if it was the battery, but it wasn't. So regardless what I kept, you know, um, I kept using it because I was able to start it. And I realized it starts to get so bad where I could not push I could not push the, the key fob onto the push to start button to start the vehicle. Um, I realized at one point I had to put the key fob right up underneath here because I was stuck one day coming from the grocery store. Couldn't leave the parking lot because the car wouldn't start. I went back in the grocery store, got me a new battery, pressed the, the push to start with the fob, didn't start. And I tried my old trick by putting the key right here because... Um, the fob right there because I heard like um, from what I read on Google like your FM transmitter the radio frequency transmitter that connects the key to the car when you start it um, that's like a hub pretty much it's located like somewhere in this dashboard area so I was lucky to put the key fob right up here and start the car and I did it few times um, after that because this wasn't working no more so I had to rely on putting it here and I was like really kind of starting to get worried um, I would get like you know like didn't want to get stranded out with my kids somewhere in the if we went camping or if we went like somewhere far from out of state or, or something like that so I was really determined to fix this um, and I did some reading and, and stuff like that and um, so what happened was one morning I woke up to go to work and got in my car, tried to start the vehicle, nothing, did this method right here, wasn't working, took me 20 minutes, still didn't work, 30 minutes, I still didn't get it to start after putting it numerous places all over the dashboard, still didn't get it to work and um, went to work, came back tried for like an hour didn't start so um i think i was informed i think i or i read somewhere that your locksmith i actually googled that day and realized someone had um had their locksmith swapped out their key fob or replaced their key fob and they said it worked so i i i called um i called around until I finally, you know, there was a few locksmith that said they could um, do it. And some charged like over 200 bucks, some charged like 300 and um, all kinds of prices I got. So I called one that ch that said he can do it for one uh, $180. So um, I said, hey, as long as you can do it, that's fine with me. Uh, long story short, uh, locks locksmith guy came by. He did some testing. He had a he had a different um, he had a different what what's that thing called? He had a, like a different like he had like a different scan tool, um, and that, his scan tool was nothing that I've ever really seen before. Um, I probably should have taken a picture of it off like the screen or or whatever, but. Um, so he, he hooked it up to the car, scan tool, hooked it up to the car. He read some codes, whatever, whatever. He had key fobs like these in his truck. Um, he, re he pretty much replaced it, went for a, a key fob from his truck, replaced it, update the, the, the module with his um, thing that he had. Um, he update the module um, I think it took him like maybe 25, 30 minutes to get 
the whole thing set up. And here now I have the new key fob here that I got from him. He actually gave me one without the, the trunk, um, without the trunk button, because he didn't have he didn't have one with the trunk button at the time, so I had to use like a three button one, but he said as soon as he, he got one, he would replace it, or he would just call me and, and replace it. So, um, but anyway, he, he, uh, he swapped it out after 30 minutes, everything just pretty much started working. Um, the, the, the thing on the dashboard, key fob not detected. I don't get that. This has been, so this has been over, uh, I would say two and a half months now. And I have not getting, gotten any messages on my dashboard regarding key fob not detected. So let me just demonstrate and show you. Here's the key. I'm going to put it right here. And it just starts, you know, it just starts. So just, so just for reference again, put the key fob right there. I'm going to start it up again. No issue. So again, guys, um, get your local locksmith to come by, reprogram your fob. And that should be good. You know, it's your chip and your key fob that is messed up. So, um, dealer will probably charge you a little bit more. Not sure, you know, depends on where you're from. But again, if this was helpful, go ahead, click the like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.